Hey y'all, Eltron here. So we're gonna play some games with Charizard today. This is my boy, this is my favorite Pokemon, and this was the first Pokemon that I got Unite, and probably the one that I played the most games with, and had the most success with. Um, we're going to run Charizard today with Muscle Band, Body Barrier, and Scope Lens. These three items, I think, are fairly well necessary for Charizard. Um, the Muscle Band is important because it gives your boost to attack speed in addition to chunking out larger targets. And um, The Buddy Barrier, I think, is extremely important, especially for Charizard's Ultimate, because when you go in, sometimes, and you'll see this today, um, I like to go in at like half or lower health because it triggers Charizard's passive, which gives an increase to critical strike chance. So, um, it's just something I've always noticed that I do. I always try to get in a little lower, but if you pop Buddy Barrier, it gives you that survivability that you need um, to be able to life steal some of that health back. Uh, Scope Lens synergizes really well with Charizard's passive, which again, at 50% or health or lower, Charizard's critical strike is increased, which is um, important for Charizard because his basic attacks can crit. So increasing the critical strike chance is a very good idea for him. And I don't have Scope Lens uh, maxed out. I think if you do have it maxed out, it's quite a lot better than where I currently have it, but it's usable. Um, Buddy Barrier gives a little bit more survivability as well with HP boost. And Muscle Band, as I mentioned, gives a boost to attack speed in addition to a flat attack boost and dealing increased damage based on the health, uh, remaining health of the Pokemon. So, uh, especially like bigger targets like Snorlax or uh, Blastoise or any of the defenders, if they're at full health, you're going to deal a lot of damage to them. So, something to keep in mind, I think. Uh, if you were going to alter things on Charizard, I think Muscle Band can probably be swapped out for maybe Score Shield. Uh, other things you can put on Charizard. Uh, I had Energy Amplifier on him at one point. It's not a bad thing. It just like he turns him into a nuke machine when you ult. <laughs> so it's and you can get your ult even faster than you already get it, which is huge. Attack weight is good for Charizard if you can put points on goal, but I always struggle putting points on goal with Charizard, so I avoid it. Um, it's more of a liability with something like Charizard, where it takes so long to channel a score. Otherwise, uh, Razor Claw is not too great on Charizard, but it can be, I suppose. If you really want it to run like a crit build, you could build Scope Lens and Razor Claw uh, and just pull off Muscle Band and... Um, he, it would deal a fair amount of damage, especially later, at like uh, half health or lower. But I, again, I, with Charizard, part of him is his survivability too. Because he's a big bulky target, he can just stand there and breathe fire on people until they die. Um, in my opinion, I don't really think that these three things are all that negotiable. You can swap them out. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So... I think Scope Lens, Body Barrier, Muscle Band are the three important things for Charizard. You will also see me run Eject Button. Uh, you pretty much need that as, Charman as Charmander because you you get focused a lot. Uh, Charmander's early boxing sucks, so <laughs> you really have to watch where you're positioning. Otherwise, you're just going to get smoked, and it'll take forever to get to Charizard, and you will be a liability for your team. So... Um, Charizard is good in the jungle. He's also good in lane. Uh, a lot of people find more success with Charizard in the jungle because you can get to that level 5 power spike faster. Uh, you get to Charmeleon and Fire Punch, and that's really where you start to see this character, this Pokemon, turn around and just start delivering kills and uh, value for your team. So, otherwise... Let's get straight into the games because I've already wasted too much time here with the intro. <clears throat> I don't think we need a defender necessarily. As long as people know how to play their role. That's okay. 
We gotta win anyways. Nice. Without a support, we need to be careful early because Charmander's super weak. Your potion tank. I feel like that's okay because Cressel has a huge health pool. And being able to replenish some of that is actually pretty nice. Lang Nui. Helicard York. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with the Blissey, which is annoying. Charizard's uh, basic goes through shields, so that's also nice. Um, so it's going to be Mirror Charizard, but we're going to have an attacker and they're going to have Blissey. So, um, be curious how this goes. <laughs> Flame burst. And okay. Whoa. Some lag. I'll take the crustle down here though. That's not bad. <laughs> it's crustles like I'm gonna go take their farm. I'm messing around. But at least he's zoned so that I could get that neutral camp. Uh, they might come invade. Fuck out of here. They might still invade. It's annoying. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Alright, we got that guy. My fire spin went off the map. Lol. <laughs> I'm just going to use fire punch to zone this Chansey. She can't take that. Oh, time to go. I was going to try and dunk, but probably not a great idea. I don't have score shield on Char uh, on my Charmeleon right now, so that would not be great. Come back and play. <laughs> Frogadier with balls of steel. They are actually made of steel. <laughs> Stood in there and legit killed two people. Rip. Almost had it. Almost had it. It is so hard to score with Charmeleon. It's so hard to score with the Charizard line completely. Like, it takes nine years to channel a score. No joke. Oh, crud. I wasn't looking. What is their team comp? I like going Flare Blitz, but I think Fire Blast is generally better. Missed. Feel like I'm being pretty useless here. <laughs> Sucker. Sucker. All right, let's go get Dreadnought. Or not. Hmm. 
Yeah, dang it. He got the heal from Blissey. Why did my team leave? Team just bounced. They're not even taking Dreadnought. It looks like they might be now. Yep. I don't know if I can get there in time. No, I didn't get it. That's unfortunate. Everybody's on top lane right now. We really needed that Dreadnought. I don't know why people are just hate getting that. Well, I'm just going to take this guy's jungle because I honestly don't know where he is. I could use it. We do have their tier 1 down bottom, which is good. Um, I'm going to go down here and help Venusaur. Oh, I didn't get it. I'm gonna kill you, brother. And your shield's not gonna help. We don't have time. They could jump on us. If we go all in, we could get that Sylveon. I'm not gonna do it, though. Odds are we're gonna get jumped on by Blissey, and it's gonna take an eternity to kill any of them on their tower. Instead, I'm just going to farm. There's no point in fighting for that. Because what's going to happen is exactly what happened with Zeraora. They're just going to get kills, and we're going to feed. There's, like, that's awful. We should not be feeding. That's fine. Take that, and we get um, some Audinos to farm. These, the Zero Aura is feeding his brains out, bro. No. I got stunned by that Crustle. Otherwise, I would have been able to kill that Blissey too. Too bad. Go down and keep fighting for Dreadnought. Yeah, that uh, that Zero Aura shouldn't have chased that far. I'm really not sure what the grand scheme of things was. Nobody wants to fight for this, so I'm just going to leave it. Whoa, I got launched. <laughs> what is this is like ADD man he's low chase him all the way into their jungle like <laughs> could use our defender you know he's just like now nah, I'm gonna chase him all the way back to his spawn in hindsight I think I probably should have taken um Flare Blitz. Just kill this guy. I'm gonna kill you, boy. I don't even care. Remember Charizard's ult goes through shields. I'm 
bad. I'm not done. No! Get him, Venusaur. Well, while they're screwing off with us, we got Zapdos, and that was more or less the point. We had four of their teammates down there completely distracted. The problem is I'm not going to get any points in. So that's not good. But at the same time, we did enable our team to get points in. And that's useful. Their entire team is dead now. <laughs> I'm just going to chill and defend. And make sure they don't get points in to try and counter score. Because it does still look like it's fairly close. No, it wasn't in the end. It wasn't really very close. So, 7 and 10, 30 points. Disappointing. But, 7 and 10 is not bad on Charizard, an all rounder. I was part of my team's, 17 of my team's kills, so I feel good about that. But, the points sucks really need to contribute more points than that but you know some games you just can't like in this game you can't with Blissey standing on a goal and it's, it takes a fucking 12 years to kill her it just, it just doesn't work so you know you can we did what we can we still won that's all that mattered so if they were attacking Zapdos at the end there like if, if it was just just the like one or two people and their team was contesting Zapdos I probably would have left because Venusaur was on the that that tier two goal, I would have probably went to help defend Zapdos, especially since I had my ult. Um, Charizard's ult is one of the best for securing Zapdos, so um, something to keep in mind. Though I didn't have as many kills as you know the rest of these guys, it's I did have more assists. So curious to see what the damage was, but you know what do you do? We won. We'll move on to the next. <clears throat> I think Charizard's kind of always a good a good pick for every team unless you're overwhelmed with all-rounders I don't think he's a bad choice um, we're keeping these items I think yeah I think it's fine I think his team is fine. Apparently I'm going to go top lane. They basically just lane swapped with us. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> At least if I'm top lane, I know I can rotate to Dreadnought. Uh, and I don't have to rely on anyone else. Like the last match with... Um, Nobody wanted to ever fight for Dreadnought. I don't know why you won't. Early game? It's so huge. Like, fight for Dreadnought, early game. Alright. Go up with Eldegoss. Which is... Hello? Hello? Wait and see. Uh, Eldegoss is a good lane partner for Charizard or for Charmander early game. Keep him alive. I am not gonna be able to help you. I'm not sure if she got that neutral core fish. I think so, because she doesn't have any health offer, like she was fighting for it, so I don't know. We need to just back off here. Poking isn't the same in this game like it is in other games. I 
Let me score! <laughs> Take my points where I can get them, man. Lagging really bad, I don't know. This is gonna be bad. Oh, we need to go help Frogadier. Man, he got shredded. Okay. I mean, I'll take free kills. If he's just gonna feed, I mean, I'll take it. Take what I can get. This Eldegoss is really aggressive. I guess you kinda have to be. It'll... I'm gonna go up here and get this little core fish. I need to start rotating down. I'm going to try and rotate down. Never mind. I'm not going to. It looks like they got it. Oh, no. Disconnect. Dude. has to reset. You're not going to win now, Sylveon. Neither are you, buddy. Tier 2 or not. Oh! It's alright. I zoned them out, so hopefully my team could score. I don't know if they did. I wasn't paying attention. That's all right. Let's see. We need to go back to top lane. Defend. There, Sylveon went bottom. Yeah, it's really hard. Which ours are to score points? Just because it takes so long to channel the this score, you almost have to run score shield. But it hinders Charizard if you do that. Like, what do you give up for that? I don't. I just don't see a way that you can have Score Shield without giving up uh, DPS. And part of Charizard's thing is his damage, you know. What are you doing, bro? I'll get you. I'll get you, homie. Man, I don't have, like, any kills. I feel okay using my ultimate in that way. Because, A, it starves them of a kill. Because they couldn't kill me then. For one. And for two, uh, he gets it back so fast. Like, I'm already at 25% and I just used it. If I can displace this guy over here. The further I push him away from their zone, the better.
Oh, they still got it. Alright, well, that's okay. I did get their Cinderace. It was a 1v2, and he ulted, so I feel like that was an in complete waste. Let's go top, because we're going to get Audinos now. And that puts me in a really good spot. Three and a half minutes left at, after these Audinos. Pretty close to 13. Let's see. And I went Flare Blitz this time. Because they've got a lot of Pokemon like Cinderace and Pikachu and Greninja who if you tackle, if you go at them and take the fight to them, they can't get away. Or they have trouble getting away. Um, that's why I did that. I mean... Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you gonna ult? You missed. Alright. You know, ult to get away, he's not going to have it for the final fight. For the Zapdos fight. I'm going to go try and sit with Lucario. What looks like he's going to do. Oh, you should have waited, brother. should have waited, brother. Alright, I'm going to go try and channel this score now. Nope. Wow, that untargetable, that's tough. I'm gonna stop that guy. Nice. We're gonna put in a ton of points here. Is there anything left over? Nope. Nope. Bye. I'm gonna win your fight, coward. Oh, and I just got my ult back. Sag. That's Sylveon. He was picking fights and then he couldn't win, so he just run. If, if I were Frieza, my response would be, like a bitch. Sorry, Sylveon. But if you're going to pick a fight, then you stick around and finish it. Otherwise, you're just a bitch. Well, we won. That's helpful. <sighs> Five and four, 103. This guy went off. 22 kills. Oh, I'm half tempted to see what I can, if I can like swap this out for a score shield and just not worry about it. Like, let's try that. Um, we're going to be dumping some DPS because, especially lower HP, where Charizard's passive kicks in, uh, we're going to kind of be dumping some of that DPS for utility to be able to score. You know, I, don't, I just don't feel right. I don't feel right. Put 
I'm gonna put scope lens back on. I just don't think you can. You're giving up too much of what makes Charizard great. We do need a little higher DPS, though, looking at this team. Oh, boy. Greedent, Garchomp, Talonflame, Pikachu, and Elmega. So, um, again, I think Flare Blitz is going to be useful here. So there's not really... Like, if you can dive onto... Pikachu, and, well, you know, maybe Fire Blast might actually be useful, because it'll keep Garchomp off of people. And slow people, because it, it has that huge slow. Let's go Fire Blast. I think it's the enemy team composition. I think Fire Blast is going to be better. We're going bottom lane. <laughs> Alright. Top with Chansey. I'm gonna take this neutral core fish. Either Eldegas went down here too. I saw it throw something. Okay. The faster we get to Blissey, the better. So she can have. Ralts went jungle? Oh boy. That's not a bad place for Ralts. She certainly needs the XP to get to Gardevoir. I... Yeah, it's just going to take her forever. Forever to clear the jungle. But she does get to come out at level 5. So, that's important. Bottom lane is getting shredded. There's three people down there. Sucks. Uh, I did get that. We need to leave them. I'm just gonna push this guy away. That reason it took him a minute to target it because it was a little further away. We still end up getting it. Ralts is not in jungle, so I'm just gonna go grab this corfish. Yep, I got dove on. So I'm not sure what's going on. Like I. Zeraora really should be jungle. But, whatever. We got a Curlia now, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> as long as this person knows how to play Gardevoir, I guess, whatever. Oop, I'm gonna go grab this. Let's go ahead and pick up Fire Blast. I think it's going to be useful. Got Wow. We turn the fight. Get shredded, kids. That was a lucky evolution. I don't know if we can get this, but we're going to try. 
Nope. Yep, we did. My fire blast got it. Fall back! No, no. No, no. You're too little. You're too little for fighting. Too little for fighting. Okay. I'm going to make another round through the jungle because I am fairly certain we have no one for jungle. <laughs> I wish I would have known that I could have went Charizard Jungle. You take that. I am going to help you clear that. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> he dives in just to blink out. You're in trouble. All right. Whoa. I came in from a year and a half away. Holy cow. Oh, we still have four and a half minutes. They're going to chase this dude. Fall back. <laughs> Don't chase this kid into his spawn. <laughs> He's still Go top. Everybody's top. Three minutes, four minutes left. Oh. Okay, we got that kid. Friendo. Oh. I, gotta, I gotta fall back. I'm not winning that fight. I did get a couple of them though. We've got jungle camps back. I'm 13. Three and a half minutes left. This is a good spot to be in with Charizard. If I can get to 15. We got Rotom too. That's really good. Alright. Dreadnought's down. I'm not sure who got it. Really haven't been paying attention. These are bronze level problems. Or beginner level problems. Take these side camps. Gonna use the fire punch. Okay. I uh, wanna go take these. This Vespa Queen mop's not there. It is there. I'll take this Vespa Queen Mom. 14. Good spot. Gotta go top lane. I want to let them take the tier 1. Did they? they? Yeah, there goes the tier 1. That's fine. Oh, ultimates are down. She's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fall back. Is that Dose is here now? We're up. Um, probably not by much. I know it said we're up, but I'd be surprised if it was by a lot. Ooh. All right. You can waste it that early. Away from me, buddy. You die. You're dead. Three. We get the Penta. No, oh, maybe. Pikachu. Need another victim. Four. Three dent. Ooh. 
<laughs> Did we get it? Man, that was a that was a barroom brawl, man. Holy cow. <laughs> like a mosh pit. That was crazy. That was fun. You almost never get engagements where you just so decidedly win repeatedly like that. That's fun. Alright. I'm just going to stand here and defend. Ah, that'd be... So they've got Garchomp down, Greedence down. Did they have an AFK? -er? I haven't seen their talent flame for... Well, I guess I did see them at the Zap fight. That was a good win. win. See how we did. 12 and 7, 140 points. Still didn't get <laughs> MVP. This guy got it though. He had 237 points. That's cool. Give it to that guy. 10 assists. I probably stole a kill or two from him anyway. It's all good. Let's go ahead and throw some thumbs up. I don't know if they had an AFK guy. Uh, this <laughs> this guy wasn't doing him any favors, though. Um, our Gardevoir definitely outplayed him. By comparison, because these two are the... These are the two Pokemon that take the longest to come online. He never really... He only made it to level 12. Our Gardevoir made it to max, so... We were winning by a lot, too, so it is what it is. Good win. That was a good win. Three in a row. Nice. And we're back with the post-game report. So we went 3-0 with Charizard today, which is a pretty good line. Um, 7, 10, 5, and 4, 12, and 7. These are all really good numbers for Charizard. 12 and 7 is really good. You really want to be putting some kills out so that you can help your team generate value down the stretch. Even getting, uh, you know, 10, like on this, this one here, 10 assists, that's really not bad. As an all-rounder, your job is to kind of be the brawler, make it in, interrupt people, displace people, especially as Charizard. Your displaces are there, the slows are there. You really should be involved in quite a lot of your team's kills. Um, it's hard to score with Charizard. I think we talked about this in the intro. It takes so long to channel a score with Charizard that I would not blame anyone for running the scoring active item or... Um, score shield just to help mitigate some of that. Uh, score shield is also really nice on Charizard to run. You can maybe drop muscle band for it. Um, otherwise, we did pretty well. Charizard is a good Pokemon. I think he's probably around A tier. Maybe low A, high B tier. If you can play with Charizard, he really carries the late game, especially for Zapdos fight. You have to make sure you have your ultimate online for that fight though otherwise you know uh he's a good pokemon through the rest of the game he can his uh basic attack goes through shields which is super helpful and people don't realize that so they'll pop an ultimate with buddy barrier and you just roast them because it doesn't work and that's kind of where charizard is right now so as you've seen we did pretty well uh once you get charizard online there aren't a whole lot of pokemon who can fight with him who can, you know, 1v1 a Charizard. Uh, Garchomp is probably one of them <laughs> because of his damage reflect. Um, other Pokemon that can 1v1 maybe some of the speedsters, if they can get you on cooldowns, or like Gengar probably could, but your displacement really kind of messes with Gengar. So, um, all in all, pretty good day, pretty good run. I appreciate y'all for watching the show the shows and watching the matches and until next time we'll see you later